Hello, this is James at OnlineITGuide.com and this video is going to be about doing a Windows manual update. It's not hard. Um, you notice I've got my little notification down here saying that there are updates ready for my computer. I like to know what's going on with being updated so I usually do the updates myself. Um, you might need to do an update if you've had your computer off for a while and um, there's been some updates out and you need to do it or there's an update that just came out and it might be a couple days before your computer naturally checks for updates so you wanna, might want to force it. Just start up your computer and go to the start menu click the start button all programs and then go up to the top right up usually right up at the top there there's one that's called Windows Update not Microsoft Update but Windows Update and just click on it. It's going to open up Internet Explorer. And I'll maximize it for you. And it's going to go to Windows Update. It only works in Internet Explorer, so click on the button on your menu to do it. Don't go any other way. Um, and you'll might have to um, do an update to Windows Update before it'll actually work. Um, and also you might need to do an Active X, Activate and Active X control, which will be a, there'll be a bar right um, below the tabs here right at the top of the screen here and you'll have to click on that and say yes I trust Microsoft for this um, ActiveX control. And you'll have two choices once uh, update fully loads. Um, you have Express and Custom. Um, if you have any doubts about what you're doing or you're in a hurry or you're just not sure do Express. That'll get um, that'll check and it'll do all the important security updates that you really need to have done on your computer. Um, and this one is the terrible link exploit. This is Microsoft's fix for this. Um, I'm a kind of curious person, so I almost always go to custom. And I check with the custom and see what else is available. This time there's nothing available. I keep all my, this computer's, I keep updated with everything. So sometimes there's some software. You might have Microsoft Silverlight available or Internet Explorer update or a new version of Internet Explorer. I don't trust, um, the hardware updates for Windows. Um, I've had some problems especially with video and audio cards. Sometimes it chooses the wrong one. Um, so, But the main ones you want to look for are the high priority ones. These are the important ones. Those are the ones that the Express Choice will automatically choose. Um, and then you're going to click on the Review and Install Updates right there. And then again it's going to just tell you which ones it's actually going to do now. So we're going to do what there's only one to choose from. I'm going to click on Install Updates and then it's going to download and then install the update and depending on how long this takes I might need to edit this tape uh, this video for a little to, so that I don't bore you completely and it's downloaded the update and now it's installing it and installing depends on how quick your computer goes as to how long it takes the video um, the updates done it's been installed this update requires a restart of the computer some will require a restart some won't um, once you hit restart, that your computer will reboot. Um, so if you have anything going on that you were doing, you probably want to save your whatever you're doing before you hit restart. And um, if you have any, um, sometimes it might be good to do another Windows update after you've done an update and see if there's an update for the update. But otherwise, you're done, and that's all it takes to do a Windows update. And thank you, and I hope you've enjoyed this video and find it useful. And come back in and visit. Uh, OnlineITGuide.com. Thanks.